Welcome to Straight Out of Sixth Grade News. We have a merry segment for you today. First up is decorating Christmas cookies with Carter, Huck, Kevin, and Zayden. Welcome to Kill Dick. Today we're going to have a cookie contest and I'll be announcing our contenders. How do you think you're going to win this? Go up and say Carter. I think I'm going to win this because like honestly I, I like I like go crazy and I already love sugar and what's the problem with sugar? So like I'm going to show people that sugar is the bomb. Really? Alright, Jaden. What, what do you think your odds are on winning? Uh, I have a pretty, I have pretty high odds of winning. Um, this should be a pretty easy win for me. I mean, I'm just really good at baking cookies. I'm, I, I'm a pro at baking cookies. My grandma helped me out before I came here, so I feel like this should be an easy one. Alright, Huck, how do you think you're gonna uh, win? What, are, what do you think your odds are? Well, with the Christmas time, we're gonna make cookies a lot. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is gonna get. I'm pretty used to it at this point. Okay. So the cookies we have today is a stocking, a snowman, and a Christmas tree. I'm gonna go with the stocking first. I'll give it a six out of 10. I like the uh, colors on it. Snowman right here. I like the uh, snowman, I like the look of it, probably like seven out of 10. The Christmas tree is just messy, complete messy, but I like the colors, so I'm giving it a five out of 10. Stop, oh, sorry, okay. Hey guys, welcome to our cookie contest announcement winners today. I'm going to be uh, announcing our winners. In third place, we have Carter. How may I feel today? I mean, I thought I could do better. I thought my creative mm -hmm. utility mm -hmm. could have mm -hmm. got it, but mm -hmm. apparently not. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, get over there. All right. In second place, we have Huck. Tell me how you feel today. I mean, second place, second mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. All right. I thought it did better, but yeah. I mean, okay. Don't hate me. In first place, we have Zayden. Tell me so, how you feel today, guys. I told you I had this one in the bag. First place is just what I do. This, is, this isn't anything, but uh, this is just normal for me. I just need some better competition, though. Alright. No, we should have won. Right. Right. You should have got one. Sorry, guys, it's serious, but this uh, show is coming to an unfortunate end. And I'm here to say thank you, Huck. Thank, thank you, Jaden. And thank you, Carter, for attending this. Thank you for having me, sir. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, would, I wish I could see. I wish we could do this again. Yep. So we'll probably have a new show coming on soon, right? But other than that. Just like they killed it. On to the next one about Christmas traditions yeah. from Addie, Devin, Lily, Mia, and Nicole. about what people do for Christmas. Mia, what do you do for Christmas? I go to Tennessee with my grandparents. Devin, what do you do for Christmas? On Christmas, I will open presents with my siblings and my mom and then I'm at my dad's house and I just open presents and celebrate his birthday because his birthday is on Christmas Eve. What do you do on Christmas? Every morning, I wake up at around 5 a.m. and I open presents with my dad. And then later that day, I open presents with like my cousins, aunt and uncle. And then later that night, I open presents on my mom with my mom. And that's Addie, what unique things do you do on Christmas Day? Every morning, I wake up at six and I go downstairs. And usually there are there's like a cloak, and my dad makes out of presents. And then my family comes over and we eat breakfast. Lily, what do you do on Christmas? What is a Christmas tradition you do on Christmas Day? On Christmas Day every year, I used to eat breakfast at my grandmother's um, every time. Now, I go to my mother's house every year and have breakfast with her open presents. 
presents, that sort of thing. What traditions do you do on Christmas? So on Christmas, for the they've changed over the past couple of years, but ever since I was a little, it's always at my parents' house in the morning. So since I've been a grown adult, we go over to my parents' house uh, in the morning, and we always just have breakfast and hang out. We do like gifts and stuff in the afternoon, and then for my wife's family, we always do it on Christmas Eve. So we do Christmas Eve with her side, and then we go to my mom and dad on Christmas morning. This year will be different because of a little baby in our family, so we'll probably do Christmas morning at our house and then venture over to my parents. What traditions do you do on Christmas? On Christmas Day, we always take turns opening presents, one at a time, and we always watch a Christmas story. Hey guys, thanks for watching our presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. Those are some unique traditions. What are some of your favorite traditions? On to Christmas clothing ideas with Arel, Remy, and Stryker.
on to the next segment about Christmas crafts with Lauren, Violet, Evie, and Ava. Hi, I'm Ava. I'm Violet. I'm Evie. And I'm Lauren. And welcome to our segment of doing Christmas crafts. These are the things you would need to make Christmas ornaments. You'll need paintbrushes and foam paintbrushes if you want to make snowmen. You'll need water and your ornaments themselves. you need paint to put, plates to put the paint on, and paint, of course. And you can also use Posco pins if you want to, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use paint and Posco pins. I mix these two colors to make a lighter blue to paint the background of my ornament. I painted the background, and I'm also painting snow. I am now finished with the snow, so I'm going to make a snowman. Here is my snowman, and I'm going to add the details now. This is my first ornament, and now I'm going to paint a Christmas tree. This is it all painted, and now I'm going to add all the details. And this is it after all the details. And these are my final ornaments. Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm going to be painting this Christmas tree. I am now done with this side, and I now have to start on this side. I just got done with the background and now I'm going to add details. I just got done with the details which means I am now finished with my Christmas tree. These are the things you'll need to decorate a Christmas tree. You can either use a garland and tie it together which is what we did or you can just use a regular wreath. And to decorate the, the wreath you can use bells or mini ornaments so that can depend on the size of your wreath. And then we also have some ribbon because when you tie it together and make it into a bow, it's really cute. And then you can use um, pipe cleaners and some berries. The first thing you need to do is cut up whichever ribbon you would like into small pieces so you can tie it around your wreath. What we did is we just made some bows at the top because it wasn't really working wrapping it around it, so we just decided to make bows. Next, we are going to use a thinner ribbon and wrap it around our wreath. This is what mine looks like. And this is what mine looks like. Next, we are going to use the green, red, and silver pipe cleaners, and we're going to wrap them around our wreaths. This is mine. And this is what mine looks like. Yeah. Now we are going to add these little ornaments. Now we're going to add these little berry things to it. This is what they look like. Yeah, this is what they look like with the, the ornaments and the berries. Now we are going to add these bells. This is mine finished. And this is mine finished. Now we are interviewing Violet's mom, Christine Whitmore. Are you busy during the holidays? I am. I have parties and um, painting workshops and fun stuff like that. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Ooh, um, getting cozy in warm clothes and drinking hot chocolate. Do you like Christmas crafts? I love Christmas crafts. What is your favorite? Um, I love to make wreaths and lots of ornaments. How many kids do you usually get during the holidays? Um, probably between like 50 and 60, but it just depends on what kind of activities we have. How do you think of different crafts for the holidays? I look at Pinterest. Pinterest is my best friend. I get ideas or things that I know that other people have already liked, that they've done before. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. And that was the end of our segment. Those are some fantastic crafts. On to the next segment about Elf on the Shelf history with Titus, Sam, and Max. Maxwell Lewis, and I'm going to be talking about the evolution of Elf on the Shelf. Elf on the Shelf had already become popular by 2005, the same year it had gotten released. They had already become, they had already become different colors, shapes, and sizes. They wore they wear different clothing, and have many different looks and poses. Really, you can put them into. <laughs> gonna come up it shows different elves the an example is mine my elf is green has a blue hat and a dress not the normal elf 
and my cousin has a humanoid reindeer elf that stays around all year. Elves do different things in many ways. Your elf is special in its own way. Bye bye. Everybody is asking who made this elf on the shelf. Last few years there were elf on the shelf books and even dolls on the shelf. Now today I will tell you who made this elf on the shelf. A woman called Carol Absol with her daughter named Chanel Bolso published the book The Elf on the Shelf, a Christmas tradition along with a special with a small scout inside. A Carol Absol primarily worked as a stay at home owning a award as in of Georgia's positive parents at 1988 1989 from the governor of Georgia she held two positions that drew on her writing talent editor of local Christians mag magazines at 1984 through 1987 and account executive and advisor from at 1991 to 1994. Today I will be talking about when the Elf on the Shelf started. The history of the Elf on the Shelf started in 2005, November 24th. When the Elf on the Shelf started, it moved around the house each night to a totally random spot. It also was a book that was published in the same year. to different types of people on Christmas with Sophie, Geely, Annie D, and Annie T. Hello. Hello, Santa. Can I have a unicorn? Please. <laughs> <Sure>. Thank you. <laughs> Can I have a pony, please? Ow. Thanks. <laughs> Can I have a doll? Yes. <laughs> Can I have a kitty cat, please? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> could no. you, could you end world hunger for me? I'm a toy maker, not a miracle worker. We're <laughs> watching, watching our, our new show. show. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and to all. Good night.